Hey, hey, y'all. I hope y'all doing well. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. I hope you're doing well. Um, thank you for being here, of course, and make sure that you share this out to people that you think may want to hear this, especially if they're trying to plan a party at home. This video is all about, of course, planning a party at home and five awesome ways or tips that you can, of course, get that party started. I guess I put it that way. So like I said, again, welcome to the video and make sure that you, of course, follow, subscribe, whichever one you want to do. I guess I put it that way. But also make sure that you, of course, like and comment, too, because I want to hear from you and hear about what, what's the next party that you're planning. So, so like I said, let me know in the comments, y'all. So I have five tips, of course, to share with you. That's going to help you kick off that awesome, awesome party that you want to have at home and have everybody raving about your party for the next year until you have another one. So check this out. Here's the first one. One, making sure that you're planning ahead, meaning that you're not planning a party today and it's supposed to be tonight or you're planning a party t today and it's supposed to be this weekend. Make sure that you're planning ahead because you want to make sure that you have all the things in place that's going to make your party a success when it comes to, of course, your music or your decorations, all those types of things. There's other things included, but like I said, those are just a few. But you want to make sure that you plan ahead to have those things in place and a lot of other things in place, dessert tables, all those types of things too, to make sure that it's not just a rinky dick party and people are coming to it like, okay, what is this? This doesn't even seem right. This is crazy. She doesn't even have any music or he doesn't have any music or whatever it is. Make sure that you plan ahead to make sure that you're, of course, sending out those invites, whether it's electronically or of course in the mail, whichever one you want to do, or just telling people whenever you see them, I guess I put it that way too. But then, of course, like I said, making sure you're planning ahead to make sure you have all those things in place that you're going to need. Like I said, like the food, the drinks, if you want that, um, snacks, all those types of things. So number two, think ahead and think about the little details. The little details when it comes to, of course, party planning could be the way that you set up your table, your um, cute and fancy um, dinner table with your chargers, your plates, your spoons, your forks, your all those kind of placements. Like I said, think about those little details. Whether you want some candles over in the corner somewhere to, to highlight the corner or some pictures that's over there, those, those little details do matter when it comes to things, especially when it comes to decor and party planning. So think about that, y'all. Um, number three, know your guests. Know what your guests like and what they don't like and how they want to have fun, too. Don't just invite people to a party and you have nothing for them and they're just sitting up there looking crazy and just like, okay, this is boring, that kind of thing. Make sure that you know your guests well, that you know, what, like I said, what kind of music they like, how they want to enjoy themselves, how they, what they don't like, the things that they don't like. If they don't like playing cards or playing board games, don't have that there. Like I said, know your guests, know what they like and what they don't like. That is utmost important. Four, um, always, 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 I know I just mentioned this a little bit before, but add special touches to the food, the drinks, and the decor. Make sure that you do that, not just the table settings like I talked about before with those little details and that kind of thing, but to the food, the food, little touches to the food. You can, if you know how to make um, like like a little hors d'oeuvres or appetizers, that kind of thing, make some little cute ones. I guess I put it that way. Or you know how to make candy apples. I know how to make candy and caramel apples. So if you need me, let me know. But like I said, definitely put those kind of things on the table to make the decor look a little bit nice and special touches. You can also, to your dessert table, you can also add a candy buffet, like little jars full of different kinds of candies in different colors and that type of thing as well that has set that area off, just to let y'all know. And yes, like I said, I'm Tony with What's Poppin' Blue and Decor and More. And of course, I'm here to help you plan your party if you need to. And like I said, definitely. This, these dessert tables and the balloon decor, I'm just going to talk about this shortly. Those are the things I specialize in, so let me know how I can help as well. And like I said, for the food table, like I said, those are special touches. The drinks, if you can have, if you can hire, if you have the money to hire a bartender that can throw up some drinks and make all this spectacle and that kind of thing, then do that if you have the money for that. If not, you can always look on Pinterest, look online, look somewhere to find a signature drink that you can call I guess my name is Tony. I guess Tony's Hour or something. Just, just name it for yourself. And like I said, you, you can definitely do that. And like I said, that adds a special touch. And when it comes to the decor, just know that some kind of decoration is always best. Your party um, goers are going to want to take some pictures and selfies and haven't seen so-and-so in a while. So they wanted to get pictures with them and that type of thing. Like I said, set a mood for them. Set the decor so it can be nice for them. And like I said, with, with what's popping, I do bloom decor. I guess I put it that, that way, bloom decorating, making the bloom selfie walls, the picture walls and that type of thing. And like I said, the bloom garlands and that kind of thing that sets parties off. So like I said, if you need me, let me know, y'all. But like I said, you have to have something there to, of course, entice your guests to catch your eye 
to get them to say, oh my God, this is nice. I want to take a picture by this. I want to take a picture by that. Even if it's the dessert table, the food table that you set up nice. They can take a picture if they wanted to buy that too. I guess I put it that way. It depends on how nice and how, how extravagant it is. I guess I put it that way as well. So number five, the last one, enjoy your the party for yourself as well. Never forget to enjoy your own party. There have been many times that I've been, of course, planning parties with family at home and that kind of thing. I can't even enjoy the party because I'm still trying to set stuff up. I'm trying to clean up behind people or I'm trying to put these last little minute things in place. If you cannot do that on your own, hire somebody like me to do that for you or get a friend that's there at your house to do that for you. So you can actually enjoy your party and not just sit up there and work on the entire party. And I'm sure a lot of y'all can identify with that. Like I said, that's not fun because I've done that many a times to work doing my entire party when it's supposed to be for me and for me to enjoy and for family and friends. And I can't even enjoy the family and friends because I'm still working. Working a party, trying to get things together. If I part, Even a party at home can be a lot. Yes, it definitely can be a lot. I'm here in Arizona, so like I said, if you need, I'm the party planner that's here. So like I said, if you need some help planning your party at home, even if it's a holiday dinner, and you're inviting a whole lot of people, that type of thing, trying to keep things in order while you're still working, you're still taking care of the kids day to day until the holiday comes, I'm the person for that job. Just let me know what you need and how I can help. I don't want you sitting up here not being able to enjoy your own party after you can put all this fabulousness together and you can't even sit there and enjoy the, the party and all the people. Keep that in mind, y'all. So like I said, these are my five tips. That's how you can host an awesome home party. Like I said, definitely make sure that you share this out to people that you know them that are, that are looking to do their own next party soon. And actually, no matter when they're doing their next party, like I said, tip number one, plan ahead, plan in advance. So make sure that you share this out with somebody who's looking to plan a birthday, anniversary, whatever kind of party it is, wedding party, bachelorette party, bachelor party, whatever kind of party they have coming up, share this with them so they can know five tips to at least get started into a course to make the party a success. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye to y'all. Like I said, this is Tony or Tanetta Clay with What's Poppin' Bloom Decor and more. And of course, like I said, I'm here to help you plan your party as best as you want, I guess, and whatever your imagination allows. And of course, like I said, I specialize in those dessert tables and sweets. And like I said, and the bloom decor as well. So let me know what you need, y'all. I'm here in Tucson, Arizona. So like I said, if you need me, reach out to your girl. There's a link in the description. Let me know what you need and let me know how I can help. Peace out, y'all.